You cannot not respond. I mean, that's what we're all about. Local first responders talk about being on the front lines of the heroin crisis. In these days of tight government budgets, some taxpayers wonder if money's being wasted, saving people who repeatedly overdose on drugs. In fact, one city councilman between Cincinnati and Dayton is even suggesting local medics refused care for those victims. But as First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, withholding service is not as simple as some might think. Although financially it's a losing proposition, first responders in the valley say it's their job to answer all calls that might come in. There's nobody in this, in the Mahoney Valley or anywhere in Northeast Ohio, as far as I'm concerned, that would even entertain not responding. But just last week, one Don't councilman in the now. southern Ohio city of Middletown said his community is running out of money to pay for the overdose reversing drug Narcan because of so many repeat victims. If you're going to come to Middletown and buy your drugs, you better get out of town because if you have an overdose, we might not come. Dan Picard is proposing medics not respond to suspected OD patients who've done it twice before. Wherever he got that whole idea, it's not going to fly. For starters, Pew, who's not only the COO of Lane Life Trans Ambulance, but also the Mineral Ridge Fire Chief, tells me paramedics and EMTs take an oath to provide care. If we wouldn't respond, our license could be on the line as far as the state of Ohio goes. They could, they could probably take our license off of us. I'm just not sure that um, this, when you look at the ethics uh, and the morality behind it, it's the right decision. Chip Comstock is the fire chief in Poland, as well as being an attorney who represents local fire departments. He tells me under current Ohio law, responders could potentially be sued if they didn't care for their patients. We're going to have to change the liability laws to make it very clear that there would be no liability for withholding treatment. Although Pew admits his company loses money in manpower and supplies answering OD calls, both he and Comstock insist not responding is not an option. There's no way I would do that. And I, and I wouldn't advise my clients to do uh, that either. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.